understand me, but they just put it back together. A symbol for the uh, paint job. Uh, I don't think they're gonna disassemble. You're tuned in to Don't Plan It Live Behind the Scenes. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to be a part of the team, yeah? And caprices in the bitches lit. Squatted on them sixes, how them bitches sit. Candy coated paint, I had to drop a lick. What's good, fam? Another day, another video. What's going on? What's going on, fam? What's going on? Another day above ground equals a beautiful day, like I always say. So if it's a beautiful day, why not go out and chase your dreams? Why not go out and chase your goals? Why not go out and work on yourself, you hear me? Fam, y'all already know we got the same 24. Believe that, man. We got the same 24, you feel me? So like I say, nobody's better than the next person. Got to get out there and put that grind, you feel me? Got to get out there and put that grind. Put that effort in, man. Nothing is going to fall in your lap. Don't nobody owe you anything. Y'all already know that. Hard work outweighs talent. All that, you feel me? That grind. That grind going to get you there, you feel me? But appreciate y'all for tuning in, though. You understand me? Just a little motivation for the DPF. Don't plan it, family. Family, familiar, fummy. All that, you understand me? But what's good, though, fam? Today, we on the road right now. We currently headed home base, as we call it. Y'all already know, man. We going down south with it today, man. To see what kind of work is being put in, man. And then, um, you know, still working on trying to finish this song as well. You understand me? Um, so y'all already know, man, how that's going. A lot of people been asking about that song, boy. <laughs> I ain't know it's gonna get, uh, you know what I'm saying? That much people asking about it. So we working on it, working on it, working on it. Um, appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, watch the full video. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Select all. Turn on them post notifications. Post notifications, man. Post notifications. Turn them on because we do post content often. The content we post be fire. And on top of that, we doing a don't giveaway. It's the Don't Planet Don't Giveaway. We're giving away a don't. 1973 two door hard top that we're giving away. Never has a don't been given away before. We're giving this donk away once we hit 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. For a chance to win this donk, all you have to do, subscribe to Don't Plan a YouTube channel, click the bell, select all, and turn on the post notifications. Post notifications must be turned on because part of the requirements is watching and commenting on videos on Don't Plan a YouTube channel. So post notifications must be turned on so you can know when we post new videos so you can go watch and comment on them. Also, you must spread the word and tell everybody you know that like donks about the Don't Plan it Don't Giveaway. That's the rules for entering the giveaway. Don't just subscribe and disappear thinking that you're going to win a don't because it's not going to happen. You have to participate on the Don't Plan a YouTube channel, meaning you have to watch videos and comment on videos. No, you don't have to comment on every single video, but you have to watch and comment on videos. It is very important. The Don't Plan it Don't Giveaway. All right, fam, y'all see it, man. That's the giveaway ad. Y'all see the car that we're giving away, the 1973 Tudor Hardtop. Very solid starter. Don't just follow the, step, the steps that the ad say, and you'll be entered in for a chance to win. You feel me? Um... So yeah, man, so that's what it is, man. Right now, we on our way down south, you understand me? Um, I have to focus on this road, man. These dudes out here, they driving crazy, and it's been raining on and off down here, you understand me? Um, so see you guys when we get there, man. Let's go.
All right, fam. All right, fam, we just got to the shop, man. They putting in that work. I just came in, I seen they working on the homie K car, man. I'm happy to see this. You feel me? I'm happy to see this because my dog K almost out the door and I know my dog K coming with a beautiful seven tray vert frame off convertible. It looks like it's finally starting to come together, K man. I believe this is the put back. So it's getting ready to get painted um, on the outside now. You feel me? They got everything. My dog going that purple on here. I ain't finna tell y'all about the woods because you probably don't want me to reveal this combination. But, you feel me? My dog got the purple on there. Got the purple, uh, the radiator support even purple on here. He got a frame off, but they got the frame wrapped up, you understand me, for overspray dust and all that. Keep the frame all clean because the frame, like, brand new, you understand me? But they just put it back together. A symbol for the uh, paint job. Uh, I don't think they're gonna disassemble it again, but this car has been disassembled and assembled many a times. I lost count. That's how perfect my dog K won this car. K wanna start perfect. <laughs> this car has been assembled and disassembled a whole bunch of times, trying to achieve that true perfection, man. One thing I got to say though, man, uh, these cars, you know what I'm saying, they old, 40, 50 year old cars we talking about here. So it's hard to achieve like complete perfection. Like let's just say a car straight off the uh, assembly line to the dealership perfection. My personal opinion, I think it's hard to achieve something like that. That's my personal opinion, you understand me? But my dog K trying to achieve here. So they gonna get it as perfect, as perfect as it can get, you understand me? But like I was saying, man, I feel like with donks, we love donks, and we put a lot of money into donks, time, patience, all that. But I feel like it's kind of hard to get them. I ain't gonna say it's impossible, but it is very difficult to get them to true perfection. Like, let's just say a car from the uh, off the assembly line, perfect. You understand me? Like, you know how when you go to the car, when you go to the car lot, to the dealership, we ain't talking about used car lot. We talking about when you go to like, for example, the Mercedes Benz, you know what I'm saying, dealership, and you got you a brand new car, and everything on there just perfect, aligned, perfect, all that. I believe it is very difficult to achieve that with a dunk. It's not, imp it's not impossible, but it is very difficult, you understand me? Let me see if I can show you all the dough jams. Damn, hold on. I'm gonna try the easy way. Try to stick my finger in there and mess up my finger. Can y'all see it, man? Those jams all sprayed up, everything. My dog K heading to the booth real soon. Heading to the booth, booth real proper like, you hear me? Real proper like. This seven tray right here is gonna be a real beauty when it come out. Y'all gotta stay tuned for this one. The color, the wood he told me that he's going with. Boy, it's gonna be pressure, man. Look at that purple. Yeah, I'm going all the way. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. They just put the hood on. They put the trunk on. They put the doors back on. I see right there. Hold on. Inside of the trunk thing and everything. Just a little dust. But that's nothing though. You feel me? That could be cleaned up, blowed off, or whatever. But this purple tray right here. It's gonna be something serious. Shout out to the dog K, man. That boy coming with a hit, believe that, man. The motor he going with that he told me with, that he told me that he going with, the motor, the wheel selection. Stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. I wouldn't be talking like this if this dunk wasn't gonna make a major, a major uh, appearance in the dunk. I wouldn't be talking like that, you understand me? All right, fam, man, y'all see what's going on, man. Them boys putting in that work. The homie K coming soon, man. The homie K coming soon. I can't wait to see it, man. I know it's gonna be a dope combination. That purple with the wheel selection he told me. The motor he got is gonna be dope. But yeah, um, we about to take off, though, man, because I just got a phone call, you feel me? And uh, my barber just called me. I gotta get a haircut, right? Um, also, man, I gotta finish writing this verse. I gotta finish writing this verse, man. You understand me? Because everybody been asking me about the song. 
oh, is the song out? Yeah, what's the name of the song? Da 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 da. It's not complete yet, you feel me? But I see people asking me about it. I've been sitting on the beat for a long time, actually. I've been sitting on the beat for a long time, actually, you understand me? And, um, I don't know. I just decided to record it the other day. It just was the right time, man. And now everybody asking me about it, man. And now everybody asking me about it. I'm like, man, I need to hurry up and finish release it. Uh, finish it so I can release it, you know, feel me? So, um, I don't know, man. I need to hurry up and finish it, you feel me? But anyway, man, we on our way to the barber shop, man. Let's go. All right, fam. I just pulled up to the barber shop. Um, but I'm waiting on the barber to show up, man. He's not here right now. Um, so I'm waiting on him. So basically, I'm sitting in the parking lot, man. You feel me? I'm trying to get the song finished. You understand me? Um, got my composition book. You feel me? Got my pen. I'm writing, you feel me? I'm trying to get it down pat because I know, you feel me, it's a lot of y'all out there asking me about the song, like when is the song gonna be released and all that. And like, it's crazy because like I said, like I was sitting on the song for a minute, you understand me? I was sitting on the song for a minute. I didn't know when I was gonna do it, but then that other day we just got around to doing it since we was doing a new intro video and the studio happened to be open you feel me so everything just fell into place but then now it's like I, I released the the portion that i released and like you know what i'm saying a lot of the dpf out there asking about the song or whatever so i've been getting messages and emails about it or whatever you understand me so now it's like you know what i mean it's kind of like it's a good thing but at the same time it's like yo like people really asking me so it's like i can't really no longer just keep sitting on it sitting on it it's time to get it done man so i'm writing you feel me but I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Like I said, I don't claim to be no rapper, you understand me? But I just do what I gotta do. You understand me? I don't claim to be no rapper. I just do what I, I mean. I could do, you know what I'm saying? I could do a little something, but I don't call myself a rapper, though. You understand me? I could do a little something, you know, for my, for, 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 my, for, 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 for Don't Plan It or for the YouTube channel or whatever. But anyway, man, I'm sitting here. Since the Bob ain't here, yeah, I'm trying to finish this verse. But I ain't gonna lie, man, your boy got a serious case of writer's block right now, man, trying to finish this thing, you feel me? Like, it's crazy, dog. like, ooh. Yeah, you feel me? Your boy got a serious case of writer's block right now. I'm trying to finish this thing. Man, I don't know. I don't have no time. I'm trying to get it finished soon. I don't want to put no date on it because like, I got a serious case of writer's block I'm trying to figure it out, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I be hearing people telling stories about how Jay-Z and Lil Wayne go in the booth with no pen and pad, like they don't write down, they just go in the booth and straight spit. Like, I'm not saying it's impossible, but sometimes I find that hard to believe. Like, just go in the booth and just straight spit, you understand me? Like, if it's a freestyle, cool, but like, to just drop multiple songs in that, in that, in that format or that aspect. To drop multiple songs in that aspect or whatever is, I don't know, man. I find that kind of hard to believe. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. I guess if they do, if they, if that's what they say they do and people seen them do it, but I ain't gonna lie, man. I got a serious case of ride the block right now. You feel me? So I'm just trying to finish this real quick because I know the people want the song or what have you, but uh, yeah, man, that's what's going on, man. I'm trying to finish this, man. Um, but yeah, man, the barber just pulling up. Um, appreciate you guys for tuning in today, man. You feel me? Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm trying to get this song all wrapped up, man. You understand me? But y'all already know, man. Until next time, keep it locked right here. Don't plan a lie behind the scenes. You hear me?